With the Omniverse Launcher, users can access all of NVIDIA's resources for everything Omniverse. The News tab contains helpful and informative links to engage with the Omniverse user community. And the Learning tab contains an extensive library of demonstration and tutorial videos. They can be browsed by category like collaboration or based on application areas. The Library tab provides access to launch and manage all Omniverse applications easily from one place, including our kit-based app Create, Omniverse Drive for maintaining important data networks, and all Omniverse connectors, including Autodesk 3ds Max, Maya, and Adobe Substance 3D Painter. We'll be discussing each of these throughout this demo pack. We'll begin in 3ds Max. Using SIP techniques and workflows for creating texture UVs for the box meshes in our warehouse simulation sequence. This is a very traditional workflow you're probably already familiar with making UVs, so we won't cover it in too much detail. The FBX importer in 3ds Max is used here to import and modify the geometry. These four simple various size rounded edge boxes were previously created by our production team. A modifier is added to the mesh which unwraps its texture UVs. Opening the UV editor allows direct editing of the texture vertex layout in the square UV space. The material editor, called by using the M hotkey, is used to create a template material with a texture map of a checkerboard pattern. This material is applied merely to view the scale and placement of the texture on the geometry. UVs can be modified at the individual vertex level by changing the placement attribute values in the properties window or by transforming the entire UV shell using the transform manipulator in the view. Proper adjustment of the UV shell ensures that the textures will be mapped accurately without stretching or warping. Here, the same template checkerboard material is added to the other box meshes to check the texture matches the scale and proportion of those shapes being exported for texturing. Once we're satisfied the meshes are ready for texturing, we export the FBX model for use in Adobe Substance 3D Painter. In this example, all the default FBX export options are used. The Omniverse 3ds Max connector is a shelf at the top of the viewport. Clicking the avatar icon on the shelf calls a list of available Nucleus servers available to connect. A successful connection turns the avatar icon green. The Export USD button on the shelf calls the Export dialog. Here, the desired options are selected for exporting the model in the Universal Scene Description format native to the Omniverse platform. In this example, we're exporting the entire scene as a prop with the Z-axis defined as our up axis. We're also choosing to include default presets for MDL, Material Definition Language. Adobe Substance 3D Painter is launched from the Creative Cloud Desktop. Substance Painter is used to create textures much easier than exclusively using 2D programs like Photoshop. We're opening a project here previously created by our design and look development team. It contains the exported FBX meshes of the boxes from 3ds Max and some layered texture descriptions in the Layers and Texture Sets tab shown on the right. The Substance Painter Omniverse connector can be enabled using the JavaScript connector menu option. Using the project configuration window, any FBX file can be linked to your Painter project. If the incoming FBX file contains matching material descriptions to the ones in your project, you can use your project materials on any number of objects in your final scene. The project settings for the connector describe everything about the data you'll be exporting. The output directory is where all the exported scene files and textures will be saved. The preset determines the type of material you'll be creating when exporting. In this example, we're using a PBR material including roughness and metallic textures. The texture bit depth, file type, and resolution are also set here. Once Omniverse Create is launched with an empty scene alongside our Painter session on the left, you'll need to use the Window menu to enable the Substance Painter extension. Search for Painter in the search bar in the Extensions window, then find and enable the Painter extension in the list. The Substance 3D Painter link tab can then be added to your panel from the Window menu. It simply sets the folder from where Create will receive the incoming USD file in Substance. Check Copy Textures to Nucleus and also Update Materials. Make sure the port number shown in the connector settings from Substance match the link port number shown in the Create settings. Clicking the Export Mesh to Omniverse button in the Painter Connector panel will export the USD file and textures to Create. The scene is automatically loaded with the proper materials. 
Making any changes on the material or texture descriptions in Painter will use the live connection to update the textures in your create scene. Here, we're changing visibility on layers to reveal the cardboard textures on the boxes. To make the material editing even more interactive, you can easily match the environment lighting from Substance in Create. Use the Display Settings tab in the Substance Properties panel to select an environment map for your scene. You can change the opacity, exposure, and blur sliders for the HDR background. Holding the Shift key and sliding using the right mouse button, the lighting setup can be rotated to more closely inspect the meshes, and that lighting setup can be made visible in your Create scene by simply clicking the Visibility button in the Settings panel. The layers in Substance are very similar in look and function to the layers in Photoshop. The PBR materials contain map types such as base color, roughness, and normal. In this example, we are exposing various layers and effects on the material description for the boxes. There are masking and text layers being added to reveal text and logos for shipping and handling details on the textures. Each time a new effect is added or revealed by displaying a hidden layer, the textures are automatically updated in Create using the connector and nucleus. Substance Painter has a large selection of alphas, filters, effects, and even normal maps you can use to add detail to your textures. Many filters are fully procedural, and the extensive library of effects makes customization more flexible using blending, masking, and color channel assignment. Brushes are fully customizable and can be used to paint directly on the 3D model. Using the Assets menu, you can select from a library of fully procedural and stylized preset brushes. Here, we're selecting a textured brush with Alpha that we can use to add a layer of dirt on the box texture. The color is added and the spacing, angle, and jitter can be modified to create a more random look. The size of the brush can be adjusted holding the Control key and moving the right mouse button. Layering brush strokes with different textures and effects helps to add more detail to the textures. There are many tutorials available which cover more detailed techniques than we covered here. We'll take another look at the techniques used here in the context of our final animated shots in later chapters of this demo pack.